Hey everybody, it's Mark Kalachi again bringing you another quick video. In this video I wanted to talk to you about a question I get quite a bit which is how many houses do I need to see before I'm ready to put an offer on one? It's a good question and the answer is simple. Not as many as you used to have to. And why is that? Because nowadays you've got the internet. It used to be you'd have to talk to your local realtor, wait for them to find new houses that were listed for sale through a booklet that they received through their brokerage, and even the even the listings they got didn't always have pictures, or there weren't very many, and it was in black and white. Also, you as a client, you might see some new listings in the local paper, but again, probably just a text description, maybe a picture, maybe not. There's really not a lot of ways you could have known whether a house was the right fit for you without seeing it. So it used to be you'd have to see a ton of houses before you got to the right one. Nowadays, it's just not the case. You've got high definition virtual tours. You've got realtors like myself who actually use video. You take video of a property inside out and I even use drone footage. So you get a really great feel of what a property looks like before you even step foot on the property. And then you've got you know, the internet, you can look around for tons of houses and you can see what houses are a fit for you just by looking at them. And of course, when you're working with a good realtor, they're going to do a search for you. That's going to find exactly the kind of criteria you're looking for in your house. So it's not unrealistic to say that you could find a house within 10 or fewer viewings. And I've literally had this happen time and time again, because by the time you view enough houses online before you're ready to even go see them in person you know what you like about that house and what you don't you just need to go there to confirm your suspicions is this house really what i expect it to be or was there a little bit of embellishing going on through the photography or things like that um, but more often than not you're going to know within a few viewings which is the right house for you you're going to know before you even get there before you even hit that curbside and see if there's curbside appeal to that house if you are going to like that house or not Again, an in-person viewing is just your way of confirming, yes, this is exactly the kind of house I thought it was going to be or not. And I've had many clients who've even put offers on houses on the first outing together. So again, don't be afraid to put an offer on a house if you know it's the right fit. You're going to know whether or not you like a house within seven seconds of stepping foot on the property. And now the, the other side of this is a lot of people might feel some buyer's remorse or regret, or they may feel like the grass is greener on the other side. And what I mean is, it's not uncommon for you to feel like if you find something so quickly that maybe you're missing out on an opportunity somewhere else. But that's not always the case. Um, a lot of times, the house that you fell in love with truly is the right deal and the right house for you. So don't, don't go against your gut instincts. Trust your gut. If you like the house, make an offer. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you got any questions, give me a call. Check out my other great videos on my Facebook page. Give me a like and give me a great review if you want and uh, hope to work with you soon. Give me a shout at 512-713-5627. Take care.